Hi guys, welcome back. This week we're making a classic chicken chasseur or in French the poulet sauté chasseur. Now this is a beautiful and easy French stew that you can make and it's usually made in the autumn kind of time of the year. Now what is the chicken chasseur if you don't know what it is? Uh, simply pieces of chicken that we're gonna saute in the pan and we're gonna braise the whole lot in a tomato based brown stock and we're gonna garnish the whole lot with mushrooms and flavor with wine, cognac and of course some herb, parsley, tarragon and if you have some chervil. It's a beautiful recipe, I just can't wait to make it. But uh, if you wonder also a bit of the history, why is it called a chicken chasseur? A lot of people um, tend to ask this. And basically in France the story was that people were hunting a lot back in the days and while they were hunting for poultry they were also foraging mushrooms you see and they were picking up these mushrooms get the meat back to the kitchen and the cook will then cut the chicken take the meat use the bones for a stock saute the mushrooms and make a beautiful brown stew for everyone and that's the story and we're going to be starting making the beautiful recipe right now now let's cook. Now you need to get into the habit of preparing your ingredients always before you start cooking and this is called the mise en place and it should not be overlooked. Now this is how I work. All right? Every time I'm making a recipe, I'm preparing everything. I've finely sliced my shallots, roughly cut my carrots in a mirepoix and the onions, remove the germ from my garlic, peel it and trim it. I've got my butter as weight, my flour, tomato paste. I've trimmed my mushrooms. I've deboned the chicken to get my chicken bones ready. It's all washed, it's all clear. Chop my parsley and I've got my herbs. Now we can get started. Step number one, we need to make a stock. Now when I'm making a stew, I like to make the stock myself. I'm gonna show you today how to make a quick supercharged brown chicken stock. First off, stock pot, bit of oil, high heat. I've deboned the chicken and I'm gonna use all the carcass chopped in small pieces, straight in my pan. Okay, so today we're making a brown stock. So the goal of the exercise is to get your meat of a real brown color, okay? But there's a fine line between browning your chicken and burning it. So keep an eye on your heat and make sure all of your pieces get that nice brownish toasted color. Once you get your brown color like this, we're going to add a mirepoix of onion and carrot. So I'm just adding 50 grams because I'm making a small portion today of the chasseur just for four people using four pieces of chicken. When it's in, you're going to let everything sweat for another 10 minutes. Done. So when you get that brown color at the bottom that's not burned, you can see that brown, this is what you want. You're going to take some off-the-shelf veal stock or beef stock and straight in. It has to sizzle, it has to be hot. And that's going to detach all of these brown succulent juices at the bottom and goes into your stock to make it. It's going to become a beautiful sauce. When your stock starts to boil again, you put your garlic, your bouquet garni, and I've got some extra, uh, this is the trimming for my mushrooms that I'm going to put in. And to finish, for that particular sauce, we're going to take a good tablespoon of tomato paste. Now that depends on how tomato you want uh, your paste, but it's usually 10 grams. Okay, mix everything, got a nice reddish color. Perfect. Now we're going to cover this and let it to cook for 30 minutes. And now for the chicken. I've got my four pieces. I've seasoned them with salt and pepper and we're gonna coat them in a little bit of flour. So I'm using plain flour, all-purpose plain flour and you're gonna take your pieces of chicken and coat them nicely in the flour. Tap them a little bit and then back in your tray. You repeat the same exercise for every single pieces. And now let's cook the chicken. So cast iron pan, I've got really, really hot oil in there. Skin first, and we're gonna color the meat. So you start with the skin side, put them in, and we're gonna lightly brown the meat, okay? So leave them for a few minutes, maybe two or three minutes on each side first to get them some color. 
All right, I forgot to mention you have to preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So we are aiming at getting this color, which is a golden brown type of color on each side. I think they're done. Look at that. Have a check. Wow, look at this nice golden brown color. Nice and crispy. And the flour on the top is going to contribute at thickening my sauce. So from now on, I'm going to put a lid on that pan and continue to cook this gently in the oven at about 180 degrees Celsius or like 400 Fahrenheit. After 15 minutes, I'll take them out. When your meat is cooked, it can be a bit more than 15 minutes, put it in a tray like this, put some foil, and we're gonna reserve this in the oven and keep it warm. All right, our stock is ready. The next step consists of just discarding the bouquet garni, all of the bones, just to show you the first steps. And from here, I'm gonna remove everything, pass it in a sieve, filter it, and put the clean stock in another pan. All right, well done, look at that. Oh, beautiful color, very tomatoey. It's nice, but it's not thick. And part of the recipe, you need to make a stock that's been thickened. So you can use arrowroot or corn flour, but what I like to use is this. This is a beurre manier. It's an equal mix of butter and flour together. And you make little balls like this. And you can basically, like a roux, add a few little pieces and bit by bit, let's say you put on a medium heat, wait until it's boil gently you can use a, a whisk and we're going to thicken that sauce done look at this it's not really thick as you can see but what i want is this you see this is called napping consistency meaning that when you pass your finger there you can check the sauce sticks to your spoon and that's going to coat your meat and anything that goes with it very very nicely and now let's make that sauce chasseur, and because this is the name of the appellation. So you use the same pan uh, on which you've been cooking the chicken. The first thing you're going to do is put your mushrooms in. Uh, I've uh, cut them in small pieces. On a medium to high heat, we're going to wait about three, four, maybe five minutes until they're nicely cooked. All right, when you get a nice brown color going, we're gonna add the shallots to give some extra flavor. Mix well and cook for another minute. Now when you hear tricky part, your pan has to be hot, we're gonna try to do a flambe. Don't know if it's gonna work. Bit of cognac and to light it up. Whoa! Be careful if you do this at home. Mix well. Let the cognac reduce. And I'm gonna now add some white wine. And this is just to deglaze, meaning getting all of the taste into your sauce. So after you put your wine, you have to leave it to reduce, okay? So you see, what I've done here, I've cleaned my pan. Look how clean that is. Nothing is burned. I've just removed all of the taste. It's nicely blended with the mushrooms. And I can now add my stock. There we go. And I'm gonna leave this to simmer for like three or four minutes. Last step consists of taking about like half your parsley, half your chopped tagan, such as tagan I had before, it was chopped, it's all fresh herbs of course. Make this well through the sauce. So that's, give you the, that's gonna give you that freshness, like the fresh herbs gonna explode, you know, and the flavor is gonna be absolutely beautiful. And as we do always in France, of course, you finish off with a little bit of butter. It's like a bit of a tradition, really. Okay. Off the heat, sorry, I forgot to mention, the heat is off under there. And now I'm doing what is called monte la sauce. I'm raising the sauce. It's like finishing, polishing that beautiful silky sauce with the butter. And basically now it's ready for serving. I'm gonna dress up my plate, put the chicken on and see what it looks like. Can you believe it? I just had the worst bloody camera accident that didn't record, so I pour all this nice thing explaining everything and it's 
didn't record. So basically, sorry, uh, this is the dish. <laughs> I could not kind of, uh, this is the pieces of chicken that I've laid down and then I was pouring the sauce on top. Uh, I've got a little bit left. So just to show you on the side, you know, it's a very nice sauce. It's, it's, it's very thick, it's very rich. And this is how it has to be served. Basically, I wanted to say that the chicken has to be covered uh, in sauce to make it look like a real kind of, you know, hearty hunter's dish from the forest with these mushrooms and this chicken. But anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, that's it for today and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.